Carrie Lake has had a situation blow up in her face in the most beautiful fashion possible. And she's just gotten humiliated by this whole affair. So we're going to get into all the specifics. But also after we dive into this situation that has blown up in her face, we will talk about a clip from her related to this that is so dangerous. So hold for that. But she has been encouraging people to believe wild theories about the election being stolen and voter fraud and all of this. And we've been talking about it and uh, highlighting the danger that that type of rhetoric poses. And despite that, despite many people calling that out, many, many people have bought into these lies, including public officials as well. So people who are board of supervisors, um, individuals in a county in Arizona stood with Carrie Lake's lies and refused to certify their county's election. Now that on its own is completely uh, horrible and represents the danger to democracy that all of these types of lies pose because that is their responsibility. 100% they're supposed to certify the election results in their county and then it goes to a statewide certification. And they stood against that because of lies and claims that are completely baseless. Well, one of the most humiliating things was highlighted. If they refuse to certify their election results, and we'll get to how it ended up concluding, but then the statewide certification would just have to ignore that county and it can't count those votes. And what that would have done is flip two Republican seats to Democratic seats. Two elections that went Republican would then change into the Democratic Party's direction because as I'm sure you would have predicted, this county is a more rural and conservative one. That's why these Board of Supervisors, uh, some of them went along with Kerry Lake's lies. And so that means a lot of those votes were Republican votes and that would have caused Democrats to do better in the state than they would have before. Now, again, that on its own, you, that's horrible. That's sad. That's dark that people's voices would just not be heard. Even if their votes we wouldn't have agreed with, you still want them to be heard in our democratic process if people were trying to make it um, heard and known through their vote. But in a more lighthearted sense, watching Carrie Lake's lies lead to a situation that actually could have helped her opposition more is beautiful and so uh, karma-esque, you know what I'm saying? Really, really wild. Well, it got concluded. Katie Hobbs sued to have them certify their election results because that's their job under Arizona law. And a judge ruled that they would have to indeed do that. Um, and so that county, Cochise County, has had their election results certified. Uh, take a look at this. This is the judge. After a recess, the judge was clear. You will meet today. You will canvass the election no later than 5 o'clock. Cochise County Supervisors, without an attorney, were mandated to canvass the 2022 election. After t And all canvass means is uh, certify. So it just went wrong in every way for Carrie Lake there. First, she finds out that her lies may lead to the Democratic Party actually doing better and two seats flipping um, in their direction. And then she finds out ultimately, okay, because she might not even care about that. She might just like that she gets to point and say, see, the election was so fraudulent that even one of the counties didn't certify the election. And that didn't even happen. And she is standing where she was before, which is in a place of complete baseless claims and conspiracy theories just to rile up her base. Now, here's the clip that I wanted to show you of her related to this. So it started being talked about that these individuals at the Board of Supervisors of Cochise County did not act in their legal purview, did not act in the responsibility according to the responsibility that they have under Arizona law. And so Katie Hobbs sued, but then other talks started beginning about is this a crime and should they be prosecuted for it? And so Carrie Lake comes out and says, well, they should be willing to go to jail for me essentially and they should be okay accepting these types of criminal charges to stand against the horrible stolen election i wish that somebody would say you know what arrest me then i don't care we need people with courage to say class what felony go ahead go for it arrest me because this is a botched election and you're disenfranchising the folks in mojave county when you allow this kind of an election in maricopa county to stand 
So, uh, not only are people who are uh, in public office and standing against our democratic process going to hear those words from her, I just want people to get arrested in my name, pretty much. Also, those who follow her who are just citizens will hear that message. And that's what scares me. Because we saw on January 6th that people in the name of Trump and in the name of his lies were willing to go to jail, were willing to commit crimes to stop the election from being stolen in their mind. And we could see a similar thing with Carrie Lake, and that's the deadline that they've set. The Steve Bannons of the world, the Trumps of the world, and the Carrie Lakes of the world have said, we need to prevent certification, the statewide certification. And so I don't like how it feels to see the anger building among the Arizona MAGA citizens and have them being told, you know, I just wish people who were standing with my lies, would, of course, that's not her wording, but would be willing to get arrested and class what felony because that might push them just over the edge where, of course, she wasn't directing it towards them, but they could take that message as well. And that's very scary in what actions they could then feel are justified. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before any of the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get access to an extra full show every Saturday that only members can see, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley, and there is a link in the description.